everybody welcome back it's alex here now a lot of you have been asking me to do a comparison between the lower end machines because some of you went out and bought an m1 mac last year well good job first of all it's a pretty nice machine and so far has been doing pretty well in my tests as well this macbook air m1 right here is a little beast of a machine very impressive little guy now here i've got the new macbook pro 14 inch this is the double bin model which means it's got eight cores for the cpu and 14 cores for the gpu so we got eight core machine versus an eight core machine here this is an m1 pro chip inside though so a newer variety of chips but is it going to give you that much of an advantage over the m1 MacBook Air. And that's what I plan to find out by doing a few of these tests like I've been doing here, but except I've been comparing more of these bigger machines here and I'll still be doing that. So if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing so you don't miss those tests as well. But now I want to check out these two lower end machines to see what's up. Is it worth upgrading? So we're going to kick things off with an Android Studio benchmark test and I've got Android Studio open on both of these machines. Now, if you're not familiar with this test yet, I've done this test before on this channel. It's open source on GitHub at this URL. I'll link to it down below. Below. And this is by Sergey Radkivsky. Thank you, Sergey, for putting this together. Basically, it's a way for people to do this test on their machines and submit their results. There's a link to the table that you can click on to get all the results for different machines. And this also comes with some installation instructions. Now, there is one difference that I've done between the way this test is set up and what I've set up on these Apple Silicon machines is that I'm using the Apple Silicon version of Java instead of the x86 version of Java. So here on the MacBook Air, you see that I'm pointing my Java Home, which is used by Android Studio, to Zulu 8. Zulu is uh, created by Azul, a third-party company that makes these JDKs. There's a few different varieties out there, but this one supports ARM64, which is going to run much faster on your Apple Silicon machines. And here, I, I thought I pointed it to the Zulu one, but I do have a point to the JDK 1.8. So it'll be curious to see what the test results will be with M1 versus M1 Pro pointing to JDK 1.8. I think I know what's going to happen here. I'm going to run this test real quick, get the results, and then we're going to switch this one to the new Zulu library and see if the M1 Pro can actually beat the M1. All right, let's begin. I'm gonna open up this project here, Android Studio Benchmark, and uh, I'm gonna go down here to the terminal. And right over here on the terminal, I'm gonna run the command uh, that's specified in that repository to do the build. Gradle W clean, which ensures a nice fresh start to the build, and then assemble debug. Now I'm gonna put a time command, although I think this actually, yeah, this one actually reports the time at the end of the build. So let's do that same thing here. All right, we are ready to have this race and let's go. Okay, now it's been running for about a minute and a half now. This test doesn't take that long to run, but I think the M1 MacBook Air should be finishing this up. Okay, so it was a little bit over two minutes. Two minutes and one second is what this one took, and this one is still working at it. And just as predicted, even though it's supposed to be a faster machine, if you're using the x86 based version of JDK, the Java runtime, uh, then you're gonna have a slower performance. And I actually have a video on how to set the whole thing up and install of Android Studio and setup of Java Home and getting all that set up. So check that video out if you haven't seen it yet or if you're curious to find out how to do that. Now we're still waiting for this one and this is a significant difference. As far as feature set between the different JDKs, I know Amazon also has one. Somebody in the comments suggested it. I don't know what the difference is in the feature set between these JDKs. So if somebody knows, let me know in the comments down below and let everybody else know. That'd be much appreciated. Is there a benefit to one over the other one? I don't know. But definitely there's a benefit to using an ARM version over an x86 version. Now while this is happening, I just want to add that both machines are completely silent. Even though the MacBook Air does not have a fan, this one does have a fan, the MacBook Pro, but I don't hear any noise from either machine. So if you're worried about that, I wouldn't worry. The test that I did, the noise level test that you saw on this channel earlier, that was synthetically pushing the fans to the max to see which machine would be loudest. But in real world practice, I haven't seen the fans kick up. Uh, I, I did see it kick up on the Pro machines only when I ran multiple builds at the same time, which was kind of ridiculous and unrealistic most likely. Okay, now this is done four minutes and 31 seconds. Oh, pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do here on this machine is close Android Studio. Oh, and by the way, TG Pro, that software that shows you the temperature is showing that the fans are off and it's showing 56 degrees on the M1 Pro and a nice cool 42 degrees now on the M1 Air. Now, because Android Studio has a big menu bar at the top, I couldn't see that TG Pro program. So 
some of the menu items disappear because Android Studio's menu bar is so long. And that's because of the notch, of course, the famous notch, and also the size of the screen. So if you had a 16 inch version, they probably wouldn't hide those. Now what we need to do is change one of our files to point to the different Java home. So here we are, I have a file called Z profile, which I'm going to edit in nano. And right there, I have Java home, I'm exporting that environmental variable called Java home, pointing it to JDK 1.8. But I'm going to comment that line out. And the next line is pointing to Zulu 8, which I'm going to comment back in. Do we say comment back in? I never heard people saying that, but I'm going to comment it back in. Let's save this file. And uh, I will actually restart Android Studio altogether so that it picks up uh, that new Java home. Open up Android Studio Benchmark. And just to be fair, I'm going to quit Android Studio on the M1 Mac as well and reopen it. Perhaps there's some startup processes that happen in the beginning that uh, interfere with the build or somehow uh, I just want it to be fair. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Gradle command set up on both of these one more time. Let's go. Now I am expecting a pretty big boost in performance on the M1 Pro machine. So I hope that's the case because I'm now using the arm version of the JDK. Let's see. All right, I have no idea who's leading the way, but they look pretty close together. Oh, oh, the MacBook M1, the MacBook Air M1 actually won. One minute, 31 seconds. You know, I'm gonna have to do this again just to make sure. But I told you the M1 MacBook Air is a little beast. Don't underestimate it. Okay, one minute, 51 seconds on this one. It's a significant improvement, like I mentioned, but for some reason, the M1 MacBook Air is winning. Let's do that one more time. Okay, they look about even now. <laughs> I don't know. Now I lost track. We'll see. Okay, and this is done. It's being pretty consistent now. Although this machine is not being consistent. It's at 126. The MacBook Air is at 129. So now this one has caught up and beat the MacBook Air by three seconds. But I would say after paying $1,200 for the MacBook Air and paying I think these are uh, $2,500 to start. So more than twice the price. I don't know. You can decide for yourself whether you want that little PRO at the end of your uh, machine name and chip name. Well, there's a bunch of other stuff that come with this machine and you've seen videos about that already. So there you go. That's Android. Hopefully you found this video useful or entertaining. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and stay tuned for more tests between these two machines. See you next time.